All right, so I'm doing a airstone hearth insert for a wood stove. That's the stove, which is also getting replaced in this project. Using the airstone spring creek and also using the airstone spring creek with the uh, end cap pieces. Uh, these are a finished piece. It has a finished end that looks like this as opposed to the square end that looks like that. There's the finished pieces on here. Several videos out so you can kind of pick and choose. The idea of this one is just give you a couple of tips for success here. One of the things I stole off one of the other guys' uh, videos was using these little thin cardboard shims. I actually pulled these off of uh, just a little cardboard package. And those are gonna get you just those little tiny bits of level. Secondly, I'm using two levels. I've got the short one for the individual pieces. And I've got the longer level to make sure that my courses are all even. So as I'm going, I'm making sure that I try to keep randomized patterns of length of end pieces by cutting some here and there, as well as randomizing the big blocks. Last thing I've been doing is each course, these are all bolted in, this course here with the tabs underneath it, and then these guys are not. So I've laid each one of these stones up. They're all loose, so I make sure that they fit, that they look the way I want them to look, and that they're semi-randomized. And I'm not too concerned about level yet. I'll shim them as I go, but I also wanna make sure that all of these lines, as you go from one wall to the next, are all lining up. Last little tip is, it says you can cut these with a hacksaw. I tend to try to cut the thinner ones as much as possible. And I'll take these at their standard lengths, which are four, six, eight, 10, and 12 inches as they come out of the box. These pieces are two inches high, these pieces are four inches high. And then if I'm making a lot of cuts, I'll mark the cut and I'll put some sort of a symbol on it just so I know where that's gonna go, especially when you've got four, five, six cuts that you're making in one shot. So this top course is now all cemented. I had it laid up just a second ago. I pulled each individual piece down, put some of the uh, mortar, the glue on the back, and then slid them all into place. So by doing one course at a time and having them all set in here, that gives me the option to move things around, jiggle them around so nothing's set in place. Because this one sits much deeper, I still want that mosaic effect, but I'd like it to sit out a little bit farther where it matches up. It's so a much thicker coat than I have with everything else. Slide that one into place. And while it's set, it sits out farther.